it's Debbie. Guess what? Today when I was cleaning up, I found all these plastic eggs. Betcha they are left over from Easter. And I thought, what can we do with these eggs? So I came up with some ideas. The first one I'm going to show you is just splitting the eggs and making lots of them. So I only put a couple here today because we don't have all day to do this, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stack them all up and see how high I can go before they fall over. Sometimes it's a good test. Have to be really gentle. And I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to measure them. A ruler is a good way to measure things. It's got numbers on here that helps you measure. So let's see. This one is four. Four. You have to remember that because if I play again, I'll make one of those and see if I can get to four again or how high I get if I only use three eggs. Let's see. One, two, and three. Let's see. How high is that? That's two. So that's not that high, is it? And then you can just keep going. The more eggs you have, the better it is. You can have a competition with somebody that you like to play with as well. Your mom, your dad, or somebody in your house, your brother, your sister, whoever. Then I thought, hmm, this box is laying around. What should I do? So I took this box and I ripped it apart and I folded it all up and I already taped one side. I'm gonna make a ramp. Then I'm gonna take the other tape Got ready here. I'm going to hold it like this. Just so the egg doesn't fall out. See, I made some sides. Now, if I hold this high, the egg will probably come down and fall off the table. If I hold it low, it might not. So I'm going to go low first and then we'll see what happens with high. There it goes. It would have went off. It went pretty fast. But let's see if I go really high. Ready? Woohoo! It goes faster. So you can do it all different ways. I wonder if you put something inside that egg too. It might slow it down. It might make it go faster. That's for you to find out when you get your eggs. What else can we do with these eggs, I thought? Hmm. What about putting different things in the eggs? Pom-poms, can you see that? Paper clips, paper clips are kind of magnetic. Buttons, this is like a great big paper clip, it's called a bullnose clip. see if anything sticks to it. Let's see. No. Did it stick? Yes, it's magnetic. What about this one? No. Yep, what's in there? I forget. It's a big paper clip. This one? not magnetic, is it? I bet you there's lots of things in your house you can find to put in your eggs. You should try that. That's fun. Now, the last thing that I have for, day, for today is uh, matching with your ears. So let's listen. Can you listen? Let's see if we can find one that matches. Let's see if they're the same. Some beads. Good ears, don't I? I got that one. 
on the first try. Let's see this one. <gasps> they sound the same? I don't think so. Sound the same? Did you say yes? doesn't it? But it's not. It is letters, little wooden letters. And little wooden letters. Now, when you catch these ones, this could be another game I just thought of. You could put one letter in each egg and then try to find the right letter. And it would be almost like a concentration game. See all the different letters that you could use? There's 26 letters in the alphabet. So you would probably need 13 eggs or 14 eggs. All right. Now, that was a lot of ideas to do with those eggs. I bet you can come up with some more. If you do, let us know. Thanks for coming.